All right, Gulf Coast Independent Wrestling fans, welcome back to the Front Row Fanatics. And as promised earlier by my esteemed colleague, Mr. <laughs> Internet, ooh, we got the goatee thing going on here again. We have a special guest on Front Row Fanatics. Very special. That's right, very special. The one, the only, the Bruiserweight Maze, baby. Woo! He is the greatest. Don't, uh, don't adjust your TV sets. Uh, I'm, I am not Cheech. <laughs> oh! I need to point out that I think for the first time, his goatee is longer than yeah, yours. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I had to. Woo! Yeah. Wait, wait! A special upcoming segment. We're going to get a tape measure or something, and we're going to do an wait, internet versus oh. maze <laughs> challenge versus Cheech three-way measure the goatee match, baby! Woo! Cheech lost. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, I'm not even in the competition. You know, we so. could also measure the hair on their head. You need to get a new mask that has a long gimmick. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> god damn! You've been talking my old lady. <laughs> oh well, somebody go to the store and buy me some more beer, please. You got some? Okay. All right. Anyway, oh, yes. Yeah. We're here with the one, the only, the Bruiserweight Maze, Gulf Coast Indie Sensation for many, many, many a moon. What's the official year count? I don't know. 12, uh, 13? Close to 12, 12 somewhere around there. 12 and some change. Yeah. yeah. So I know at least 10 because my boy seen him there at the, you know, the uh, infamous... Sweatbacks there. No, that's um, not, no, I no, never got to see it. The Sweatbacks in IWC, man. No, not They're that. Wrong. The Brownsville. Yeah, the right up the road. Yes. Okay. The original Sweatbacks. PWA yeah. <laughs> Arena. Ba 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 ba. Yes, but uh, long time. Love watching Maze in action over the years, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now let me let me go back, and I know some of this has been covered in the uh, Invasion shoot, which you can check out on YouTube. Uh, who, who, do you remember who your first match was here in this area? I sure do. It was uh, Justin Cruz. Justin Cruz. That, the, the, uh, you know, in the future they would become New Era. Mm -hmm. The aerial assassin Johnny Mays. Yeah, that's right. Dominant tag team for many, many Which, a year on the Gulf Coast, man. Which should have been covered in the, uh, you know, when you talk about the tag teams, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still, awesome tag team, no, man. We, we had we had a, we had a lot of fun, and you know, at first we didn't get along, but you know, we we hashed that out, and you know, he one time I was in a bad spot, he came and helped me out, and uh, the rest is history as far as I won some titles. Yeah, I want to point out we also missed Justin Cruz not being here on the this Gulf is Coast. true. Uh, but you also had a good series of single matches versus Ju for uh, that, 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 yes I'm drinking beer versus Justin Cruz oh, yeah. for a long time. You guys you know you had some good singles matches in PWA before you got in to the tag team scene. So man, yeah, the, the first probably couple months uh, it was nothing but uh, me and him fighting each other. Yeah, and fight you did. Oh yeah. We were doing, we were, believe, believe it or not, we were doing a lot of stuff that weren't wasn't seen in this area right. uh, to come as far as, you know, the, the high-flying stuff. Uh, most of that stuff we saw down in Mexico and whatnot, but uh, I'm not saying that we were the only ones doing it, but from this area, I mean, I was... On an independent level, right. you rarely got to see that. As far as I know, I was, I was one of the only first ones I, that I know of that was doing the running shooting Star Press. Right. At the time, at that time, until Billy Ray stole it. <laughs> oh, evil Billy! But I gave it to him. I, you know, give him a pass his, on his that one. better than mine after a while. So. <laughs> now let's let's talk about probably one of the greatest wrestling cards ever on the Gulf Coast, the Backyard Brawl. Hell yeah! That's that's. I was there. I was there. Hell yeah! You talk about that and Maze, they're synonymous, you know. So let, let's let's delve into that a little bit. Yeah, we. Uh, that was uh, first of all that that uh, show was promoted very well. It yes, was promoted. Oh, close to six months or more in advance, and uh, we had a solid card. You know, Cyrus LeVay was on that card, and Merkin McLeod, Bobby was on it, and a host of others that, that don't wrestle anymore. But uh, you know, we had some uh, Aaron Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mercy! <laughs> we love Aaron Idol Blaze. Idolmania, baby. We love Aaron Blaze. Yeah. The rule book. I still have your rule book, champ. But uh, you know, we um, we had uh, lots of uh, feuds with uh, the backyard boys and. Uh, Nick Vortex and Iceberg, yeah. Vortex and Iceberg. Right? Vortex and Iceberg, and uh, we just, uh, we had it all out there in uh, the Milton Meltdown, and uh, a lot of people say that was the best match I've ever seen. A lot of people say that uh, other people on the card said, how do we follow that? Right. I was fairly green still, and I just did out, did, went out there and did what I could and did my best. and Got one of the most awesome crimson masks I've ever seen oh, in my life. Oh, shit. We got a picture of that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, we do. You better not lose my pictures, woman. <laughs> oh. Still a real life eel. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, baby. Absolutely. I was there at that match, and you know, they had a cage match. It wasn't Robert Gibson in that main yep. event, too. Robert uh, Gibson, Daniel Dan Rowling, Rowling, Bobby, Bobby and Cyrus. And, yeah. Wow. And Bobby and, came up from the, from the mats. Yeah, that? and it was like, you know, because the crowd had just went berserk over your match uh, with the backyard boys there and everything. And they're like, how do we follow that? You know, and I was there. I watched it, watched the cage match, but. To me, it was kind of a letdown because you guys had just went all out, um, all over that arena, man. And I mean, that was the first time that I actually ever went through a table, and I did, I had no clue what to expect. So, for the fans out there, that's what we're talking about. Can you get a tight zoom shot in on there, producer? Sweet. We'll try to put that up in that retrospective look of uh, Maze's career. Now, you you actually touched on something. You said a lot of guys in the car said, "How do you follow that?" Well, let's. That's kind of a good segue into PWA. How do you follow something like the PWA? I mean, from a fan standpoint, it was the best wrestling on the Gulf Coast at the time. And from what I heard from a bunch of the guys, it was the best time they had had. Great locker room, great atmosphere. I mean, how, how you know, did everything else kind of pale in comparison to that? Not really. I mean, everybody everybody there wanted to be, everybody was on the same page and wanted, what was in the same direction. Everybody wanted a, to be a part of PWA. I know guys that I've talked to that, knew about PWA and wanted to be a part of it in some way, but either they were too far away or didn't, you know, couldn't get down here or what have you. And or found out Johnny Hollywood was there. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Johnny Hollywood, man. <laughs> man. Brother, you rule, man. You rule. He was in a portal. But anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Johnny Hollywood, brother. You rule, man. That's a shoot. <laughs> but, uh, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard to, uh, to top that, you know. You know I wish we were, was around a lot longer than it was, but, uh, you know, yeah, sh shit happens, so, you know. I hear you. Hey, but you know what? I party with Johnny Hollywood on the side of the PWA hey. arena. Johnny Hollywood, you rule, man! A lot of stuff went on the side of the building <laughs> the PWA arena. I this had, is true. <laughs> I had to drive home from a show from, I don't know wherever we were, and, and I, I swear I, I, I thought I was going to die that night. Because <laughs> back in the day, you know, he was doing things he probably shouldn't have been doing, and I, you know, I needed to ride home, and he drove me home, and I... I, I'm just glad we made it home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. Right. Which, from what I hear, Johnny Hollywood's cleaned up pretty good, and he's doing well now. Yeah, so he's, right he's, on, brother. he's always been cool to me, so yeah. I've, I've never had a problem. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, what is the old saying? The. Uh, what is it? Uh, God, I can't think of the saying. Oh, no, he had a brain fart. But brain anyway, fart. you know, PWA, you know, for those, right, right. For, for those of us that lived in this area and watched indie wrestling, PWA was the bomb, man. They had it going on, you know, they other than Gulf Coast, you know, other than Gulf Coast Championship Wrestling when they had the Ken Lucas and the Hippie Boyette, Duke Miller, the Mighty Yankees and all that good stuff, you know, the Rat Patrol, Charlie Platt, Rick Stewart, blah, blah, blah. PWA was the bomb in this area. They had a weekly TV show, too. Yeah. They had two yes. TV shows. They had a, a review show of uh, their matches. And then they had like a call in show, show, which I right. had a field day with. <laughs> yeah, that was a train wreck. You know, so it's, it, it doesn't matter. You know, you can say what you want, but PWA had a, a really good thing going for a while, man. And Bob and Terry sacrificed a lot to, yeah, to keep I that going. You. I mean, and they, they had a vision and they followed through with it. They surrounded themselves with the best talent on the Gulf Coast and made a lot of sacrifices. But let's, let's transition into something else. Where did the original invasion angle start? And I was there the night that it happened. We, we, um, Decided to uh, a bunch of us start, decided to go to a XW two thousand show, which was Seeker show, right? Seeker show in Milton, and uh, you know we went there and uh, just you know the announcer noticed us there and we kind of started giving them some crap and I believe it was you, Kyle, Nick, Bo Nick Vortex, uh, Cruz. I don't know if Iceberg was there or not. I don't think no, no Jerry was there. Jerry was there. Uh, Jerry Cruz, Curtis. Mays. Curtis was the one filming. I have actually documentation of that. Kyle, <laughs> if you can document it. But uh, we came out. Uh, the, the announcer kind of like you know whatever heckling him, and then Steve uh, Fury came out, and you know, and I think Nick Vortex spit on him, and and uh, it just caused a huge, we just a melee, and we actually we actually ran to, ran out, and uh, people were calling the police. It made, ah. it made the paper. It made it was, hell yeah. It was a good. Was so a, good. a lot of the newer fans that that hear about the invasion, they know about you know the invasion shoot videos, but. This is where all of that came from, so, you know, it's good to know your history. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I was a part of it, you know, and 
the PW, me being in a PW and, and Justin almost didn't happen. We were living in Golf Breeze under another school, name names. I know where I'm at. Yeah, um, okay. being ripped off. But anyways, uh, we were in we were in Fort Wall at the time, and we were supposed to go to Bobby Doll's first show in that building, and we almost didn't go, but we ended up talking to one of the guys into going, and the rest of you know that we got in and had a tryout match, and we were on the next show after that. Never got, <laughs> never really gotten any formal training from at that point, you know, up until we, we got in there with Bobby Doll, and he, right. he taught, taught us how to you know psychology and stuff like that, but All right. so. Well. We're, 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 we're quickly running out of time, but let's jump ahead to Ultimate Wrestling. This is where you spent the last uh, few years of your career. Can you tell us a little bit about Ultimate? Yeah, Ultimate, you know, it was like any other thing starting up. I just wanted to be, you know, something closer to home. And uh, so I got, got a call to Alexander Hurst and got involved in that. And, uh, you know, I've only, since my retirement, I only missed one show with them in the whole four years they've been uh, here. So, Which and, is a pretty good record. I mean, you yeah, can't. An absolute backbone of Ultimate Wrestling. And you know, as you have been, without a doubt. You know, I've never really, you know, I've always stayed in the mid card. You know, I'm a small guy. I never really care about being in the main event. It's never been my, my thing. I'm not a big guy. I never really care about being in the main event or being a, a champion, as far as heavyweight champion. You see all these small guys being champions these days. It's, it's, right. it's just, I try to keep it keep it to the to the true. You know, I'm not seven foot tall, 400 pounds. I'm not going to win a heavyweight title. But, uh, you know, and I, you know, I became a trainer there and, uh, Still trained to this day. I, I train all the students there. And you, you still will be training the uh, training. Uh, yeah. And the reason I believe so much in Ultimate Wrestling is because I believe that it, I had such a feel of the old PWA days without some of the other nostalgic feeling to it. But right. you know, I felt Ultimate had you know we almost had almost the same card as old PWA without missing a few people here and there. But right. you know, and it's just I believed in it, and I just hope it does well. You know. Well, me being a fan. And I, and I know you know you're wanting to step away, but I don't think Maze has had his Sergeant Pepper's album yet. He hasn't had his Swan Song. I would like. I know he needs to take a break. I know you know this might be it, but I would sincerely like Maze to come back and have one more match. Well, you know, I, you know, and that's why when I got when I said what I said, and even in the emails or on Facebook, whatever, I, I said stepping away. I never said I really never said retire. So right, because in this business we never really retire. Ric Flair's come back, and Shawn right. Michaels is probably going to come back, and. So I, you know, I'm not. I don't think I'm done. I know I'm not done. I love this business with all my heart, and I've been doing it this long. My back's shot, and my knees are shot, my shoulders are shot. But I, you know, it's it's worth it to me. So I'll, I'll be back one day eventually. And you know, like I said, wrestling will be a, a little less entertaining without you. So we, we hope it's sooner than later. Yeah. I, and I appreciate you guys putting me over. I really do. And everybody that's always put me over, I really appreciate it. And. Uh, Bob Liddell has always put me over. I don't care what people say about him. He's, uh, I gotta say, he's always he's always done good to me, and he's always been good for, good to me, and always willing to put me over. And Bobby Doll for training me and teaching me psychology. A lot of good things came out of this. And uh, Jerry, Jerry Reiner, and and uh, Cruz, and uh, Vortex, Iceberg, all them guys that that. Hell yeah, the, with, the PWA yeah. crew, man. Go ahead and say it. You so know, Cyrus, Tommy, uh, Mercury McLeod, right? All those guys uh, that help that helped me. You know, we and, you know, you know right. there you go. We were there, you know. So, I mean, <laughs> Red Anderson. Okay, with that Chase being said, bye 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 bye. <laughs> oh, with that being said, Classic I think pants. we're gonna, we're gonna take a break. Are we wrapping Woo, it up? Or we Let's wrap it up. Okay. All right, we gotta wrap it up. All right. With that being said, I guess we'll see you in the, in front, the front row. row. Maze, the you're greatest. the greatest, baby. <laughs>